Ever spend all your Robux on someone else's t-shirt and thought, wait, why am I not the one selling these? Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you exactly how to make and sell classic t-shirts here on Roblox. It's actually very, very easy. Right now we're inside of my collection, which is up on the Marketplace. You can see right there, Marketplace and HTG George. All this stuff is for sale. These are all from different demos I've done, plus a few Christmas things I tossed up here last year. And to buy one of these, you just click on this. You get your description right here. You can try it on, see how it looks on your character. There it is on my outfit. I already own this one because of course it's mine. But if you didn't, you'd have a buy button right there. Okay, we're back over here inside of Roblox. Left-hand side, click on more. And then click on the create button right there. And we're now inside of the creator hub. This is free. And I want to be making a creation that's over here. Left-hand side, click on that. And click on avatar items. And then click on classics because we're doing a classic t-shirt. These are the ones that you can do without having a premium account. You can do classic t-shirts, shirts, and pants. It does cost just a few Robux to put these up in the store, but it's only 10, it's not very much. The next thing you'll need to have is an image. You can do one image at a time right here, and it'll take JPEG, PNG, TGA, or bitmap. I normally use PNG, it works out fine. Maximum file size is 20 megs, so it's pretty big. I usually make mine at 1024 by 1024 pixels, and that seems to work out just great. It's big enough to have good detail and not too big for too big of a file, so it'll upload real fast. Okay, let's go ahead, we'll upload something. I already have one made. Click on Upload Asset. That takes you into the Upload Asset page right here. You'll be seeing a thumbnail over here. Click on Upload, and then navigate to your folder where you have your image, and I'll be doing this one right here, the green dollar sign. I also have a clear one as well. I'll be putting both of these into the store. Click Open. There's your image, it looks good. And then give this a name. If you want to have this found in the store, you want to have a lot of good keywords in your name and also good keywords in your description. You only have 50 characters for the title down here, so keep that relatively short. And if you're not sure how to do this, an easy way is just to use ChatGPT. Let me bring that up. Here we are. Just type something in here. This is a good general prompt for this. Give me 10 title ideas for selling my classic t-shirt design in the Roblox Marketplace. My image is of a gold dollar sign on a green background. I just described the image and keep the number of characters under 50. And hit the go button right there. And then choose your favorite from this list or take this as a starting point and write your own based upon this list. I'll just go ahead and keep this real easy. Now I wanna have it say t-shirt. So like gold dollar bling T. I I think I wanna have t-shirt on there as well or t-shirt instead. Let's just copy this one, right click. And I'm gonna do copy that back over here. Let's put this in. That's only 21 characters so I can add in the rest. I'll just type in classic t-shirt. We still have more characters, but this is all we need. So our title is done. Let's now write a description for this. And again, if you're not sure how, just go ahead and do this right over here inside of ChatGPT. I'll just take this first tile that we did, right click and copy that again, and put this right down here. Give me a Roblox Marketplace description for my gold dollar bling tee t-shirt design. Make sure that the description is keyword rich and SEO friendly, that's important. This is what helps you get found. There are three ways to get found in the Marketplace. First one is this. Second one is you send people here. I'll give you the link for mine so you can go ahead and see what that looks like. And the third way, of course, is that it's popular. Popular shirts rise to the top. And there we go. I'll just copy this whole thing out, right click and copy. Back over here to the creator dashboard and let's put this in here, right click and paste. There we go, there's our description. It's only at 628 characters. We could put in more if we wanted to. Now at this point, we're going to be uploading this. And once it's uploaded, we can then put this on sale. Do upload. And that goes pretty fast usually. Now when it first goes up, you'll be seeing this missing image icon over here. This goes away real fast. I'll just hit the refresh button in my web browser. Still there, so I'll give it just a little bit of time. Sometimes it takes a couple of minutes, sometimes a little bit longer, but it's pretty fast. There we go, and it's back up already. That took about one minute, so it's pretty fast. Click on that, takes us back into this page. You can make changes if you want to, and then you save your changes. And then right here, where it says on sale, Here's where you put it on sale and put it into the marketplace. Just click on that. You need to set a price. I'll be doing this at the cheapest price, which is two, just two Robux. So in reality, about two cents. And the creator earns 70% of that, or I'll get 70% of two Robux. Right down here, the publishing fee is 10 Robux. So make sure you have some Robux in here. I'll also make sure that this does agree with all the marketplace policy and community standards. I've talked about this in a previous video. When you're ready to go, just go ahead and hit publish item and then pay and publish. Let's go over here and there's a little Robux icon and two. So it's now inside the store. Let's go ahead, we'll check that. And here's my store on the marketplace. And right there, there is that brand new Bling T. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Click on that, brings that up. There we are inside the store. 
Of course, I already own this, so I can't buy that, but you'd see a buy button if I didn't own it. You can read the whole description right here. That's all working just fine. Let's try this on. Looks good. It's perfect on there. Take that off. That's how easy it is to make a t-shirt and then go ahead and put that up on sale on Roblox. If you want to actually sell any of these, you're going to have to drive traffic to this t-shirt. They're not going to sell by themselves. You'll have to drive traffic, but it's fairly easy to do. If you want to see my store, I'll put a link for the store in my description. If you want to see this one specifically and check this one out, I'll put this link in the description as well. Now make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing a whole bunch of videos how to do different clothing in here and all the 3D stuff you can sell in the marketplace. We'll be doing that in a whole series of videos. This is episode three of my new series. I'll also be getting into how to make games and program games, all that stuff. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out my store in there to see what that looks like. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.